Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. In the previous video, we talked about how to get an image to fill the width in Xamarin Forms. So uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do that with an image um, that you don't know the aspect ratio for yet, whether that's because you have multiple different resolutions in your uh, for tablet and phone, or if you want to grab an image off of the internet and use that instead. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to add another property to our aspect ratio container and we're just going to give it the source of the image so the aspect ratio container can go out grab the image and figure out the aspect ratio of that image so then it can set the aspect ratio on itself so um, let's go and do that um, so let's go to the aspect ratio container and we're going to add a new property here uh, and we're going to call this the image to size property Okay, so we have created our image to size property. It's a string. Uh, we're named it image to size. So we've got the property here um, and it's on the aspect ratio container. And then we also added a property changed method. So this gets called whenever the property is changed. So in this on image to size changed, we're going to just load the image in and figure out the aspect ratio for that image and then set the aspect ratio um, to the aspect ratio of that image. So in order to do this, we're actually going to have to create a uh, service that, that's going to run differently on Android and iOS. Um, we're, we, ideally, we'd want to use Autofac or something like that. I've got a series on Autofac that I'll link below. Um, this would be the better way to do it. But because I want to keep this light, we're just going to use Xamarin's built-in dependency service. Um, we're going to call this service uh, iImageSizer. So it's going to grab the image and it's going to get the size of that image. So let's create this I image sizer. Now in this interface, all we're gonna have is one method that's to get the size for the image. Now notice I made this a task. That's because if we wanna fetch a image off of the internet, then that's gonna be done asynchronously. So we need this to be an asynchronous method. So let's create the Android side of this first. Okay, so now we've got our image sizer Android in here and we just have to fill in this method. So I've got this method already written, so I'm just gonna paste it in here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit complicated, but we'll just kind of go through uh, what it does. Okay, so we've got the code written in here. Let's let's go through it. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is get the file name without the extension and then try to get the resource ID. Um, so this is going to come in if we have or if we're trying to reference something like this corvit.jpg. Uh, and we're going to remove the, the file suffix and try and find it in our drawable folder because that's how you're going to reference resources in Android. Uh, if we can't find it and the file name begins with HTTP, that's likely a sign that it is a image from the internet. So we're going to try and load the image off of the internet instead of locally from our device. So we're just going to create a new URL with the file name and we're going to open up a bitmap factory, decode the stream of the URL and we're going to open the, the connection on that URL. Once we've loaded that bitmap, we're just going to return the width and the height of that bitmap. Alternatively, if we have found the resource locally, we're going to just decode this resource and we're just gonna have the, the width and the height right off that resource. So we're just gonna return that. Um, so this should be it for Android. So let's go ahead and create the class for iOS now. So this one's gonna be a lot more simple. Um, let's make this a public class and implement the interface and then we will post paste the code in. Okay, so for this class, first we're going to try to load the image from a file. If the image is null, meaning we can't load it from the file, we're going to try and load it from data from the URL. 
and um, we will just return the size of that image. Uh, so this one's a lot more simple. So we're going to delete these, uh, get rid of that, and we're going to go back to our aspect ratio container. And actually, I forgot to add the dependency on those classes, so let's add that real quick. So then in our aspect ratio container, we can now we can now get the size for the image. And then we can just set the aspect ratio container on our bindable. And just like that, we have a program that should be able to, uh, we should be able to give this aspect ratio our image and it should be able to figure out the aspect ratio for us. So let's test it out. So first, we're going we're going to have uh, two images in here. We're going to have one that's loaded locally here and one that's loaded from the internet. So instead of having an aspect ratio, we're just going to use the image to size property. And then we're going to also load uh, an identical image from the internet. Um, so we're just setting the, gr the grid.row to be uh, higher numbers here. And then we're going to load the same image uh, from this the static website So let's go ahead and run it and see how it works So there we go. We've got our two images uh, filling the width of the screen So I hope this helped you guys in your project if you were stuck and can figure out how to fill the width now You know so I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you next time